Hey guys, this is Darren Benson again with Performance Motor Coaches out in Wolford, Texas. It's been a while since we've done a video. I guess right about the end of the year, I guess end of the year, first of the year, we did a show hauler, pretty similar floor plan to this Renegade. Uh, this is a 2022. There's a few things that will be different about this in the regards to floor plan. Uh, this will have a few uh, variations as far as the inverter as well. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. This is my, kind of my favorite chassis, so it's the Freightliner Cascadia 126, so it's the Long Hood Cascadia. It does have the Detroit Diesel, the DD16, which is 600 horsepower, 1850 torque. Uh, it is mated to the DT12 transmission, so the Detroit transmission 12 speed, DT12. Uh, to me, just kind of the best power combination uh, as far as whether you're pulling, whether you're going through any hills. It's not quite as smooth as some of the Allison's. Uh, but just the lack of the gears in the Allison really kind of leads me toward, more towards this, this transmission right here. It does have the aero cap, of course it is the new body style. Uh, this customer kind of contemplated back and forth on paint versus uh, white. Uh, that few extra weeks and that extra about $30,000 price increase for the paint uh, steered him back to this white unit right here. Let's kind of go through the compartments real quick. It does have, we left all the funky lights on disco lights underneath all the slides and then below the coach itself. So nice side swing baggage doors right here. It does have the hydronic heat up front, the Aqua Hot 45,000 BTU. This is the Gen Turi exhaust that will go on the generator exhaust to port it out. So customer spends a lot of time out in the sand dunes just try to keep um, some of that exhaust going up. Standard on 2022 and 23 will be the outdoor TV with uh, sound bar there. And there's a little charge port in here, a little USB. I don't know if I get in there, just a small little USB if you'd be able to charge a phone there. All smart TVs, all smart, sung, uh, smart Samsung TVs. Kind of the blackout, we didn't do a full blackout package, it basically just did. Uh, you can option some of these pieces in black or white. So same for the slide toppers. Uh, we are awaiting the slide topper right here. It does have the dual exterior lights right here. They call scene lights. It does have the little light right here that's a clearance light and a turn signal upgrade there. This is probably one of the most unique features uh, that they've done a great job at. I've been doing this for several years, so it does have what they call the three cap, the three quarter pass through. So it's kind of difficult to see because it's really dark back inside, but it's pretty darn deep there. So if you had a ladder, um, maybe some ski snowboard or something like that, you could take it put underneath there. Uh, we did option all of the baggage compartments down here to have a 110 outlet. Uh, so if you had extra power tools, maybe a power washer, you could take and plug in to numerous different places. There it does have the central vac that's located back here. Uh, there's a port inside that's plumbed that so you could go outside and you could vacuum your car but you could also use all your tools inside as well. There again there's another 110 outlet and a 12 volt outlet inside that compartment. Come around the back side 2022 and up we'll have this newer Gen Y adjustable hitch here. Pretty cool in that you know, you've got, they'll come with this little piece right here to be able to adapt down to a two inch receiver. It does have two and a half. Uh, what I like about it is you could do the two and five sixteenths ball assembly that it comes with. You could flat toe there, you could put a bicycle rack there. So there's a lot of different combinations to do that. Of course you could weld stuff to it to be able to do additional racks and such as well. It does have a camera plug right here. So if you had a, we get customers that, you know, might maybe have a classic car, maybe they are hauling horses. Uh, there's two uh, two inputs right there to be able to uh, be able to see cameras inside a trailer on the outside of a trailer as well. All the baggage compartments are all basically a bed lined, which makes it nice to be able to wipe out. Standard will be the cord reel right here. This does have the 12,500 watt Onan generator. Anything over 40 foot will come standard with that generator right there. Uh, makes it handy to be able to um, you know, run the entire coach if you need to. You can plug a trailer into it as well. Or if you had a friend that was traveling with you, didn't have a generator. 
wet bay right here. Um, for people that didn't watch me for a while, they you know they know how much I rave on the wet bay. Everything is water jetted in place there. You don't have to worry about these stickers coming off. Uh, just nice and clean. Uh, very accessible. If you need to get back in there, you pull a full pull a few screws to be able to get back in there. It does have the cord reel, not the cord reel, but your hose reel back in there. And that's manual pull out, automatic, retract. I'm not going to get too far in these. Gray and black, but it does have the macerator pump integrated with that. So your releases will be in your wet bay, but you actually pump out of here and the macerator pump is located in these compartments right here. They will have a 12 volt heat pads on the bottom of the gray water, black water, and there is a hydronic register inside the wet bay. This bay right here is pretty impressive because it houses both of the Victron inverters. So uh, Renegade jumped over to the Victron from the Magnum. Just better charge capabilities. Um, you'll see a lot, you know, you'll see these guys jumping over to as much Victron as possible. Uh, just uh, from a management standpoint, they'll run, uh, in 2023, they'll run the Victron solar controller. They'll run a control system to be able to monitor exactly what's going on. Uh, right now, the problem with integrating so many different components is uh, the lack of communication from your Firefly back to your inverters. Um, so this should start to kind of clean that up and this will be the first edition of that for, you know, in the late 22, uh, but it'll be standard everything in 23. So two, actually three 270 amp hours, they're Battleborn slash Dragonfly, Dragonfly. So that's the commercial division of Battleborn that basically supplies everything to the RV manufacturers. Chassis batteries right here, nothing wild and crazy. Uh, there is a little uh, quick connect right there. You can put a garden hose, or not a garden hose, but you can do a air hose on to be able to um, air up a tire, be able to uh, maybe air up some toys as well. With the all the Detroit single fuel tank over here, 120 gallon fuel tank, 13 gallon def tank. Definitely one of the tallest cabs in the industry, but very easy to get in. So if you're a taller guy, if you're out here in Texas and wear your cowboy hat, you can get in there, have plenty of room, but it's really easy to get in and out. Um, whether you're, you know, it maybe if you're a little bit older person with some mobility issues, really easy to get in and out with all these handles here. Come around the front, uh, Renegade will be standard with the, uh, the side, turn signal cams. This is part of the adaptive cruise and crash mitigation to so this little module right here. And it's kind of difficult to see, but the back side uh, center of the windshield as well is all part of that adaptive cruise and crash mitigation. Go ahead and jump in. We've got all the slides open already. Make it a little bit easier. So this is a CMR. That would be the floor plan. Uh, we did option it with all the rooftop awnings, the fake cans over there. I kind of failed to mention that. Nice tiled entryway here. This coach dove does have heated tile floors as well. So to jump inside, probably the things that would stand out the most, uh, this customer wanted a full fold-out couch. And so uh, we shortened up the kitchen just a little bit to be able to accommodate a full fold-out couch. You know, people kind of struggle back and forth between a fold-out couch and bunk beds. Um, he wanted, you know, something where people could come stay, but perhaps not stay too long with the comfort, you know, the comfort of a bunk bed or the comfort of the of the uh, the bunk over itself. So um, this is something you won't see in 2023. They're doing away with a lot of the options out there. They pretty much try to set a lot of floor plans. So a lot of stuff you'll see will be basically going away. Uh, the addition of really large picture windows out for 23, unless I can twist someone's arm up there to kind of change things up. Um, but, and that's one thing we've had a lot of comments about some of the previous coaches, whenever you do the large picture windows, eliminating all the storage here, it's just kind of a matter of preference. I get some people that don't want to, don't want to lose all that storage. You get some people, they don't really care. Uh, you know, if this was more of a couples coach, losing that space up there wouldn't be too big of a deal. So we did, you know, various TVs here. The idea 
kind of no matter where you're at, you can be able to catch a TV. Um, the customer didn't want to turn his head if he didn't want to, so catch that. Or if you had some people over, just be able to use that front TV right there. The a lot of the colors you're going to see uh, there again we're going to go away for 23. they are eliminating uh, various uh, ultra leather co colors no more customization there uh, no more customization in a lot of different uh, aspects of these but we're still happy to have the units they're still very well built uh, and they're definitely selling well uh, we're well into the 2023 year so there's quite a bit of units out there they're coming down the pipeline so theater seats right here, these do uh, are heated and vibrating. Don't know why the vibration is a big deal, but the heat's kind of nice. This makes it handy, a little charge port inside here to be able to charge your cell phone. So we just did picture windows in these locations. I uh, didn't want this little, this little crossbar uh, taking up some of that uh, visual space there. Filler cushion right here, it's kind of obtruse in, in the way, but that's what this guy is. So once this convertible dinette drops down, that filler cushion would go into place. 18 cubic foot uh, residential Samsung refrigerator. There again, some of this stuff you'll see kind of changing up as time progresses. We'll flop back here. This will be standard from here on out, just doing the four drawers. Uh, there is an option to be able to do a fifth drawer, but to me, it's probably everything you would need right there. I'll open up these just for people that have not seen some of the videos in the past. Um, you could do you could do various configurations of drawers, so they have a little bit of you know a little bit of customization there. Um, these are all soft close. If you catch the corner of this, these are dovetail corners right here. So very high-end cabinetry. Induction cooktop that's flushed in. These are all solid surface uh, countertops. Basically, it's a man-made uh, Corian product, like a 3M product. We'll come back here mid-coach. This pocket door is going away for 23, which I don't know why you would need so much privacy to do laundry. So I'm kind of happy to get rid of that pocket door right here that you'll still retain that washer dryer here and then I'll open this up once we get flipped around small little half bath right here uh, but still big enough to be able to wash your hands here for your guests uh, and then pretty good room here the potty check plenty of room all the way around here we'll come back here and then we'll get flipped around more easily look there. I like these in that they are convertible. So these, uh, all the shelves can come out. You have a, a, a closet rod up there. There's not a closet rod on the bottom, but if a per person wanted to utilize this for all closet space, we could take and add an extra rod there. But you know, they've done a good job trying to utilize every square inch as far as additional storage underneath here and there. This bed does lift up, it makes it easy to be able to service everything, um, be able to get to the water pump. You need to winterize. Uh, there's a valve right here. You take that clear hose out. So I've always liked the way that this is set up, uh, very accessible as far as um, you know servicing any of your tanks, being able to you know check your tanks visually or uh, be able to evacuate them really quickly with that that little port right there. So it does have the Firefly, um, the 2022 and up, they'll integrate things like basically everything uh, into the Firefly, awning controls, uh, heated tile floors. Um, and they do a pretty good job of putting switches everywhere. So like right here, I can turn all the lights off and back on inside the coach. So if you have a few lights that you forget, uh, whenever you jump in bed, you can take and turn that. There's a mobile app to be able to, operate everything as well we'll come back here so this it was kind of the standard closet in the past uh, we get people that have varying opinions so we get people that don't want a egress or an exit window at the head of the bed we can jump down to a 32 inch tv and put a small egress window below the uh, below the 
TV, TV would have to be flushed back in there. So you'd you know, eliminate a little bit of storage there, but if you're not wanting the, the window at the head of the bed. There again, all smart TV, all your entertainment's right here, but really pretty good amount of space here. As far as cabinetry, we did a safe in there as well for this customer. Take and come back in here. So doing that to, so you don't have to get staring in the mirror there, but pretty good room there. Again, all these shelves are all, are all convertible. Uh, shower, this does have a tile shower. I'll jump in here. We did option it with a little teak seat right there that folds up. So there'll, there'll be a few different selections as far as your uh, tile goes. They'll always integrate a strip that will match your backsplash there. And then I do kind of like these um, slide bars right here. So if you're, you know, if you want to not get your hair wet or whatever, you could take and move that thing up and down. Glass door right there, and then the I've shown, seen a few options with more more drawers and space right here. I don't know how you'd really open those drawers, but this would probably be about the only drawer that I would option right there. But I mean, really a fair amount of room everywhere. Nice to have this window here, and I'm being told that this will be eliminated as well, getting rid of that window. So kind of hate to see that. I'll flip flop with you. So, pretty much, you know, they're they're gonna. I think I think we've got five floor plans, uh, maybe six for 2023. This will be one of them, but just with a few less options. Um, the you'll probably see less of the Peterbilt chassis uh, in the future. Of course, you know, my go-to is in general this uh, this Cascadia. I just feel like it rides and drives the very best, and the. Uh, with the adaptation of the arrow cap, it just kind of gives a little bit cleaner look inside and out. Uh, if you don't need that sleeping area, it is kind of a more finished look at more of a class A type uh, type environment. But um, apologize for the delay of videos. We've been super busy. Uh, been back for just a few days and we've had a lot of people flying in here. Uh, we appreciate everybody that likes our videos, comes out, checks things out. We welcome people that want to come out and drive a coach, drive a coach around. Um, you know, luckily uh, this customer right here let us hang out on for a few days. So I had a fair amount of people uh, check his unit out. Um, it's it's a very difficult time right now because you don't see a lot of units on the ground. So if you want to come out and see something, most people are selling off of brochures. Uh, we do invite people at the factory, but you know, at, at the dealership setting, it affords people an opportunity to come out, check out different coaches we have here that are going to the retail customers. Also interact with some of the other customers that are in here for service. Uh, service is a huge aspect of our business. Uh, we really care about the service after the sale as well. Really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Keep on coming back.